Hey, what's going on there everyone? Striker here. In today's video, we're going to be going back to a crafting store. And so this is a great free resource to get your donations to your Minecraft server, but it also does support other things like CSGO, Gary's Mod, Team Fortress, uh, and you can see right here. And it is free. Uh, there are several plans that you can do from. Obviously, there are a few things that uh, are supported uh, in the premium versions versus the free ones. Uh, but what we're going to do here, I will leave the link down in the description and you can go ahead and just go to plans and you can see all the different types of features for each specific plan we're going to head and get started with the free one and then i also have a free domain as well this is what i'm going to be using for setting up the domain so go ahead and make your account and we'll get started and we'll hit this get ready it's going to go to the dashboard here and then we can go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is set up a domain so let's go ahead and click this button up at the top and we're going to set up a custom domain here. So let's click up set up domain and we're going to be entering our domain. So we can do shop and then dot and then this is my domain just uniquefair.tk. So if you guys need help setting up a free domain I will link a video in the top right hand corner of this screen. You guys can go watch that and kind of see how that is done. So now once we have our domain we need to set up some DNS records here. So first of all, we need to set up a CNAME and a TXT record. So essentially what we're going to do is just copy this value here, and then we'll go to our DNS on Cloudflare, and we're going to head and make a new record here. So this one is going to be a CNAME, so we can just type in CNAME or you can find it there, and this is going to be store, and then the target is just going to be this, right? Uh, we need to enable the Cloudflare proxy um, and not having that will basically <laughs> break it. So make sure we do have that proxy status on and we'll go ahead and save that. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and do the name verify shop and that is going to be a TXT record. So let's go ahead and make a new record here and it would be down at the very bottom txt and so this is going to be uh, verify.shop and it auto fills the, the rest here so you don't have to put in the full thing so just verify.shop and then and now we need to add the value which is just this code here and we'll go ahead and save that and there we go now we have the verify.shop and then our store so that is just going to be verification of that Next, we need to go ahead and make an API token. So we can go ahead and get this going here. So to do that on Cloudflare, uh, just in the overview section, you can actually scroll down a little bit and you can get your API token here. And so you can also just go to your profile, but we need to go ahead and make a new API token. So we can go ahead and hit create token and we're gonna scroll down here to create a custom one. For the name, I'm gonna put in store and then the permissions is are going to be zone and then we're going to have the second box and this is going to be firewall services. So we can scroll down or you can just type in and uh, you can do firewall services and then we need to go ahead and hit edit. And then for the zone resources, we can include a specific zone. So this is gonna be a specific zone here. And then we're gonna select our specific domain, which is the unique fair. And now for the filtering, we can just uh, leave it as is. It doesn't really need to do this. And we can also just leave the TTL. Now we can continue to summary and let's go ahead and create our token here. So now we can copy this token right here and we can go back to our cloud fair and we can paste in that Cloudflare API token and we can update credentials. And that's gonna basically go through all this whole thing and there we go, we have completed our token, which is perfect. And we can do updated my DNS. It might take a little bit to validate here, uh, but it should be working pretty soon as well. So once we wait for our DNS to finish, um, you can also just use the built-in subdomain if you don't have a, a domain quite yet. But we're going to head and start off with web store. This is where all the magic happens. First of all, let's go ahead and add our server and download the Minecraft plugin. And we can create our server. And this is going to be a YT server. You can put in your server name, and this is going to be the minecraft plugin and we can create server all right so now we need to go ahead and pop in our plugin to our plugins folder here so here is my server on revive node definitely i highly recommend you guys check them out for your minecraft services so if we go to plugins here we'll just pop in our crafting store wait for that to upload and then we'll give it a restart and then we can go ahead and start generating the these specific tokens here so there we go that has been restarted 
and then what we can do here is reveal this token. So this token is going to be used to verify and kind of connect your store to your Minecraft server. So make sure you highlight all, all the server token and we can close that here. Alright, so we are back now and we can run this command here, the crafting store key and then put in that specific key. So I'm just going to run this in console. So we can do crafting store key and then we can pop in that API key. And we can hit enter and then there we go the plugin has been reloaded and now we are synced to our server which is perfect and then now we can start creating our categories so categories um if you guys don't know basically you can do like ranks uh special permissions different types of uh, kits or abilities so things of that nature so i think most people will probably be using ranks so i'm just going to call this ranks and this is going to be the category that shows up and we can see C ranks and of course you can make this all fancy, you can use HTML if you want to make a really nice display page. And then here we have our enable mode, what kind of view it is going to be, I like grid mode. And then you can kind of see, hey is this different types of packages, specific sales, do you want to accumulate things, um, and should this category have a parent category. I'm just gonna leave this all for false. You can kind of mess around with this if you want. And then you can switch to the second tab here. And this is gonna be uh, what we see in game. So we can use color codes here and we'll just say ranks. And then you can choose whatever one that you want. We're gonna do a chest. Uh, you can have a material amount, uh, either a speci specific model data, which is kind of nice. And then of course in game descri description, uh, you can say like buy ranks here. And there we go. There is our first category, and we can make another one. We can call this uh, cosmetics, and then you can see cosmetics, things, things like that. Um, so there is a really nice and easy way to set up the cosmetics. And uh, I forgot to enable this in game, so I'll just say um, cosmetics real quick. And we can change this to, uh, I don't know, we'll do chainmail leggings because why not? And we can update that. So those are the various categories and you can rearrange them uh, very easily with just moving your mouse, which is really helpful. And then we can come to our packages and this is where you can set up the specific ranks per category. So if you see in here, uh, here's like the different status. You can kind of see what we're looking with uh, once we start to fill this out. So if we hit this create package, here is where you can enable specific ranks. Uh, so say you have a donator or like VIP and you can kind of see the VIP rank. So VIP rank gets, and then you can kind of list out um, and bullet points uh, like you know A, B, C uh, and things like that. You can also upload specific graphic for displaying it on the web store. You can also put in images in here which I like to do previously when I had my server. Just kind of list out what they get uh, on an image because it it's a little bit nicer. And of course we need to enable this and then this put in what someone wants to pay if you want to have a specific donator section you can enable this but by default i recommend having it disabled and then you can put in the price we can be like 3 uh, 70 or 380 <laughs> and then here you can specify what category it is so this is going to be in the rings category and then you can kind of see advanced sections if there's any specific requirements so say you have like a level up system they have to be at least like mage 2 level uh, to buy this rank or, or something along those lines so it's kind of kind of up to you with how you want to do specific um, different types of uh, options there so here we have the initial if it gets expired renewal or if it charged back uh, so for the initial one we can either execute it directly or when the player is online Depending on whatever plugin you have, sometimes it won't work unless the player is online, so it kind of depends on whatever plugin that you have. So I typically do recommend when the player is online and when they get logged in, then everything will update because sometimes plugins get a little weird. So uh, with this command, this is going to be using my luck perm. So we do LP and then user, and then you can specify the user. You can use this specific placeholder. Uh, you can just click this and this will say player, the UID, package name, uh, cost, amount, and all that good stuff. So you can also update this in Discord, which is uh, very nice. It uses Discord integrations. You can also update if you have ranks on your Discord. But anyways, we're going to be using the player here. 
and then we can like set them to like the VIP ring. So that is uh, basically using the lunk perms and you can add even more commands here if you want something to be a little bit delayed or if it expires or something along those lines, you have a lot of creativity that you can use in this method. So I'm gonna head and uh, we can actually go through the Discord, uh, which is really nice. If you guys want a video with Discord integration or like bungee cord setup, definitely leave it down in the comments. Um, and then, of course, in game, you can kind of distinguish the same thing. So this would be a uh, VIP rank, and you can kind of have the specific different things in here. We have Dragon Breath, because why not? Um, and then this is just going to be one, any specific data. Uh, you can also have the specific types of placeholders here and in-game descriptions and virtual servers if you want to have that in-game price things of that nature and of course we do need to have our gateways uh, and we'll talk about this here in a second but let me go ahead and create a package here and there we go there is our vip and if you want to do basically same thing for cosmetics we can have like wings and then you can have a wings description you can add add a uh, special graphics you can do it like 275 and we're going to pop this in cosmetics and you kind of go don't go down the line give commands uh, permissions so with uh, permissions it would be like lp user and then the player uh, you can do like perm set and then if it's like uh, wings dot plugin or whatever or whatever permission node that would be for your specific one and then of course the same thing uh, in game what it looks like things like that so let's go ahead and just create the package here so as you see now we have the vip rank and the wings and it's very very nice how to how to set that up so now let's go ahead and take a look at our gateways so last but not least, a very, <laughs> very crucial part of this thing is going to be gateways. So we're going to head and run through the payments. And then here it does support a lot of wonderful payments. So as long as you have an account with one of these things, I highly recommend PayPal and Stripe. But what's great, it has so many payment options for different countries uh, and it's very simple. And then if you have your personal PayPal or if you have a specific business, I, I highly recommend you just follow this article that will kind of guide you into enabling IPN. And then of course you can just put in your email, it'd be like jeff at uh, you know business.com or whatever. Make sure it is a uh, legacy and of course you want it to be enabled. And if you want to Pro do processing fees, I recommend probably no, um, but we can go ahead and just uh, enable that and get that all set up. And of course, um, it is going to be enabled once everything is configured. So, and once you uh, update your gateway, make sure your packages, as you see, is also enabled for that specific type of gateway as well. And um, it is very nice crafting store. I, I definitely love how they present everything. It's just a lot of great features, and you and most of them you can do for free. So now, if we go to our dashboard, we should be able to visit our store. And there we go. We have the shop dot unique fair it is secure if for some reason it is not secure and you need it secure you can go to the ssl here and make sure it is on flexible or full i probably recommend full um, if you don't have the that specific setting set so make sure you do not put it on full strict because that will not work uh, but you can still get uh, the ssl secured through cloud fair you don't have to buy the https from crafting store itself so uh, make sure you have those settings enabled for your domain and then of course here we have our different categories ranks is vip cosmetics things like that and we can get more info you can see hey this is what it gets hit buy now i can add your specific username you can put in like striker add the basket and then here you can select hey this is paypal we can enter our email agree and then hit checkout and it will go through kind of the specific things that we set up and if you kind of want to look at these pages here so uh, we can kind of design home page terms of service private policy and pressing so those are all different types of things that we can actually uh, edit and you can select and kind of reformat it i definitely recommend updating your terms of service privacy policy things of that nature so you are covered uh if you have like a chargebacks or, or things along those lines and last thing we 
can do is go ahead and run through testing of our packages. So if we go to our packages here real quick, I did make a few edits here to the commands. Uh, so it's going to set the parent, that proper LP <laughs> command to set VIP, and then we did a broadcast. You can like execute sans to uh, to the whole server if you want to do that, but that is just what I did. And then to test that out, we're going to be going to our payments and then scrolling down to manual payment. Here we can enter our username or Minecraft name. So this is going to be Soul Striker for me. And of course, you can set the package, which is VIP. That is the one we want to test. Run through executing commands, and we're going to head and make a manual payment. So as you see now, it does say, hey, this is complete. So it's going to send the transaction to the server. And let me switch over to my Minecraft screen here real quick. So I am in the default rank here and it should take maybe like two or three minutes uh, for the transaction to go through and then we'll should get a broadcast in chat and then it should oh there we go look at that perfect timing so uh, uh, we have the console log that it did add us to VIP and then it broadcast to the server that we did purchase VIP type high in chat bada bing bada boom we are in the VIP group so we are good to go so that is a great way to test out everything uh, let me know if you guys want to see the setup for bungee cord because it is a little bit different. They do have great documentation, but definitely let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.